what is going on YouTube um, so in front of you you see our 1991 Geostorm quote wagon back um, and this is the video I've been waiting to do um, runs under its own power so I'm gonna start it up right quick and talk over what we need to do left to it see everything's taken apart inside gonna get a quick bumpy while I get in Okay, yeah, everything's taken apart. Um, we gotta get a shifter cable because it was like destroyed somehow. Um, and we gotta put the heater core in. So no, I'm not gonna run the car without, um, without, you know, or with letting the water run out. Um, we've bypassed the heater core under the hood. So, I'm actually going to start it up and let it run a minute. If the lighting will cooperate with me. So it runs. There are no lights. Um, as I said in the last video, the problem ended up being a coil inside of the distributor. Um, so I put that on. That's been running about a week, or been running condition about a week. But we had a battery light on, and we, you know, knew the, knew the battery was bad. Um, but what we didn't know was, or didn't think about, was the alternator being bad. So, um, we had to order the alternator from Advance, and it came out of California. So, got here, got here Friday, got the alternator put on yesterday. Um, so, it runs pretty well. It does need a set of plugs and, I think, wires. It's, you know, but it does run. If I can get the hood open. Let me show you right quick. There's a 1.6 liter 12 valve inline four cylinder. There's the battery for pull apart I showed you before. There's the new uh, rear man alternator down there. Only way to get an alternator for this car is to get a reman unit because um, they don't make them new anymore. Um, so that's that. Like I said, all I gotta do now is replace the shift cable and the heater core. Shift cable should be here tomorrow. We already have the heater core, and we gotta put the exhaust back under it um, because to get to the gas, you have to take the exhaust out. So that's that. Let me show you actually one of my favorite features on this car. Actually, like you know, so hold on a minute. These little headlight doors work after having sat in the woods for, or for 14 years and they still work. All the lights work, but we got a brown turn signal somewhere. We're just the parking lights now. That's pretty much it with the Geo. Um, like I say, it's finally running on its own. Um, all the coolant fans work. Let me shut the door, put this window so you can hopefully hear me better. These windows are so sticky. Um, so, the coolant fans and everything work. Um, this air conditioning system in this car is R12. R12 hasn't been used in years. Okay, so when we had it running the first time, the boy with the or, um, after we put the coil on, um, had it hooked up to the van. 
or my dad's Chrysler. Um, so it's running off the Chrysler's alternator and battery and whatnot. So that's why it was running, but it ran on its own. Well, it wouldn't run on its own, but you know. Um, so I know that, and that's how I found out the alternator and battery. We need the battery, but that's how I found the alternator was bad. Um, anyway, so yesterday we let it get up to temperature. Um, had the coolant fan kick on and off a couple times. Um, that was that, like I say, about the air conditioning. The air conditioning in this car still works. Um, it's been parked since 04. Uh, as it sits, it's got 125, 454 on it, uh, the mileage. Um, and the fact that the air conditioning still works after having sat 14 years in the woods is amazing. And it blows ice cold. Um, that's what my dad said. I haven't actually felt it, but I mean, I know, um, I know, he, and that works because of him. Um, so yeah, once we get all this put back together, um, we're waiting, like I said, waiting on the shift cable. This is the one cable here. This goes on the outside of the shift, another one goes on the inside. Um, but yeah, so, um, once we get the shift cable put in and get all in the heater core and get everything buttoned back up, I'll probably make another video. Um, I probably actually might make another video. We might just wait until we actually get it tagged and titled. Um, so, anyway, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video.